The next card is this Stay Strong card. Yeah, I cut my finger in between time. Let's put this one on first. It doesn't happen very often that I don't have much to say, but I don't know. I don't feel like I have much to say today. Maybe something will come to me, whoops, as I am trying to get this last video of these last two cards. I'm sorry this video seems to be awfully long for four cards. I'll try to do, ouch, try to do better. The next time I cut my finger like here right in this tender spot should I have had stitches probably but I don't know I kind of can't take antibiotics because I'm allergic to antibiotics and so I was <laughs> cutting you know the chicken strips you get from Costco which are really sometimes you got to watch because you don't want your dog to choke but so I usually cut them in small enough pieces for my small dog and then a smaller piece for my bigger dog and then uh, just try to be really careful with them when they eat them if the strip is too hard I toss it and then I just kind of save the ones that bend pretty good and then they seem to do okay with those but I still cut the in little tiny pieces for my smaller Karen Terrier and I don't know what happened um, disassociated maybe I don't know but when I was clipping with the scissors, and I had, uh, I have a scissors that is a less sharp one that I keep in my plastic container that I have the chicken strips in. That's like the Pioneer Woman one, which is really pretty, but not really great scissors. If I'd used that one, I'd probably been okay. But what possessed me, literally, um, to reach for my new KitchenAid shears which are really sharp and somehow I was holding that chicken strip and I guess you know well there's a well there's a way I guess I just went way past the chicken strip it's kind of slipped and it hit this part of my finger about like this so I mean it literally went in and sliced it right open and at first it didn't bleed I just kind of it hurt I remember yelling out really loud <laughs> and then I kind of looked at it and I thought you know that really is showing an awful lot of flesh in there it was kind of making me feel a little sick but uh, you know I, I kind of thought oh I better get some blood see if it's going to bleed and then once it started bleeding man it wouldn't stop but yeah, really deep right here in this quick. I probably should have had a couple stitches, but I just used a butterfly bandage. I've cut my fingers so bad so many times over the years. Once with a rotary color cutter right through here. I mean, I literally almost sliced the tip of my finger off. I went in and told my husband, you know, to take a look at it. And he said, oh, you'll be okay. And I could slide my finger, the tip of my finger around. And he's like, no, you don't need to go to the doctor. So I didn't go. Should I have? Yeah, I probably should have, but I didn't. Okay, let's see how this goes on. Does it go all the way to the bottom? Does this cover this? Well, it just has a blue strip above it, so I'm assuming it goes right like that, right on top. And then this goes here and... Maybe that goes there. Maybe. And then this one somehow. Does this go here? 
and then this last one, if I can pick it up, goes there. I'm assuming that's the way it looks, so it must go right on top. All right, we'll go with that. Here I am picking up a scissors. <laughs> Reminds me of the Saturday Night Live and then they're doing the Julia Child segment and she's cutting, well he's not Julia Child obviously it's, uh, what is his name? Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, I had to look it up. When Dan Aykroyd had the Julia Child um, French cook chef segment <laughs> on Saturday Night Live and cuts the chicken and then cuts their finger and she just kind of keeps on going. I don't know why they came to me. That's back in the the Dan Aykroyd days, if you remember Jane Curtin and Dan Aykroyd and back in the Saturday time when Saturday Night Live was really great. Not that it's not good sometimes now. They have good comedians, but not like the old days. You know, Gilda Radner with Rosanna, Rosanna, Dana. I mean, they're just never, ever going to be the same. Uh, that's where my mind went when I was talking about <laughs> cutting my finger. I'll have to put a link to that Saturday Night Live video down below. Uh, and you guys can can watch it if you have never seen it. They play it actually if you've watched the movie Julia and Julia with Meryl Streep and Amy Adams. Uh, one of my all-time favorites. If I see it, come on, I watch it. Okay, this one's supposed to be with foam squares. So we're going to do that. This is where we have another pin, which I had such trouble with the last one. So I don't know, but the way this goes in, maybe it'll be okay. We're going to try. Let's see, where's my strong? Which she wants me to cut around the edges again, which, oh my gosh, I just hate doing that. All right, well, I'm going to improvise. Will this help me if I draw it? Maybe. That worked pretty good. Not great, but better than I would have done freehand. So adhere this to the bottom of the sun. So I'm probably going to put... That is the bottom, isn't it? Yep. So I'm going to put a couple here just on the bottom so that it's at the same height as the... Whoops. The scallop. You know, when your hands aren't working great anyway, and you got one finger that's missing in a way. I mean, it's not literally missing, but it's like it's missing because I can't use it. That wasn't great either. Makes it twice as hard. All right. I probably should have gotten a little bit more of that distress ink on the edges of this one. This is probably why if I'd used maybe the darker color it would have been a little bit better. And so then she gets this in here going straight down like that. And then it, well I think it might stay. I think it actually, if you look, it actually went through, I don't know if you can see, it went through one of the foam squares. That was an entirely unplanned thing that worked. And it doesn't happen for me very often. So this just says adhere them to the top and the bottom. Uh, let's see, but Can't Rain Forever does go on the bottom. And it might be stormy now, but it can't rain forever. That's a nice saying, isn't it?
this little indention here not great on that part if I'd had another little piece of cardstock to put underneath it and I might pull that one side up yeah so when I get the card that well as much as I can possibly match this cardstock I'll cut a little piece out I think and stick it underneath there this one at least will go on flat crooked crooked still crooked even more okay we're gonna call it here in about a minute it is gonna be what it is that's not too bad okay so there is the finished card except for I will go back and I will try to get rid of this adhesive with that adhesive remover um, whatever it's called adhesive remover I guess is what it's called and find this card stock so I'm gonna go do that and then I will be back and see if I can cut a little piece to put underneath here I found some Park Lane this was from Joanne's 110 pound solid core smooth cardstock which I completely forgot that I had but that's it's really good thick cardstock and I don't want to use it for this because I think it'll be too thick but this little piece here that was on top of it because it's just about the same it's pretty close in color so I'm going to use this for my pieces. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, so I'm going to use my Sharpie liquid pencil, that should erase. There it goes. Okay. And I'm sorry if I sound sometimes like Darth Vader when I'm breathing, but I have asthma. <laughs> like I need one more thing. But I have asthma, and so sometimes I'm breathing a little heavy, and I'm sorry about that. I try to lower the volume a little bit when I'm editing in the hopes that I kind of get rid of some of the bass sound that comes from the microphone as well as, you know, my breathing so there's my little piece that's going to go down right underneath oh well I forgot it needs to be on top too Not bad could have been still been a little thinner but that's all right we're gonna keep it but at least it made it so it's not quite so sunken in over here on on this side you know something I was thinking about and I don't know if it'll work or not but I was thinking that I could put like a piece of paper just a little bit underneath here find one of my little guys my little brushes and see I'm gonna use this little darker one and just see if I can get a little bit more on there so there yeah, so you can always put a little piece of paper underneath there and get it. I don't know if it would work here so much, but it might. Okay, well, it worked a little bit. Now, this last one. As I kind of saved the worst for last, I guess. Because I need to make that little stem. So how many of you are nervous watching me with the scissors now after I told you my story? 
making myself nervous actually. That's gonna be good enough because I don't know, that's good enough. It says that I'm supposed to adhere the yellow base to the cardstock. That's the first thing to do. like I don't have to worry about cutting these down these are fairly decent so I will just do that That's straight, pretty much. Okay, so we're going to adhere this to the center of the card. Okay, well, we're gonna pull those out and see what we can do. Let me put this little piece there. Okay, well, that's what we're gonna do right there. So let's do this. What am I doing? That's right. Well, I have to pull it off later. All right, I'll come off. Lord. It's the same on both sides, so I'm going to stick this side down. Where I want that tulip to go. Right about. See how far apart those are? So I'm going to go here, and really this should have two anyway, should have had a big square, that's all right. We're going to do this. Goes to that one. So I'm wondering if these, see these were the ones that were extra thin and I was having trouble with before, so now it doesn't match the size. Oh, if it's not one thing, it's something else, I swear. This one was a big one, so that one would have been okay. Now I got it. That's all right, we'll pop it back on there. Well, it's on there. Just do two of them. the same height. Pretty close. Pretty close. Now here is my teeny tiny stem. How much do you want to bet I can't get this on there straight? How much? So we're going to just do that. Yeah, not quite the same color for sure. That's all right. I'll see if I can't put a little bit of that distressed stuff on it. And Oh, well. I should have used the other color. Live and learn. Okay, well, it is what it is. Okay, so that's that. And so the next thing is this last piece, which is 
this one, which is one of those that you poke a hole in. So we'll see if we can get that to go through this ribbon. How many of you are Yellowstone watchers? I was a pretty big fan up until this last season. I'm getting a little sick of Beth. And so I'm having a hard time watching this new season that just came out. Is it five? Yeah, so I don't know. I usually I can't hardly wait till it comes on and then I get it on and binge watch it until I get caught up and then I just can't hardly wait till the next episode comes out. But this last season kind of just, I don't know, the season four, I get a little tired. I'm just tired of Beth. I know everybody, you know, so there's a lot of memes out there about going Beth on people and stuff like that. Well, there's a reason why they say that because she's kind of a, you know, can't say that word on YouTube. But I'm just getting a little sick of her. So I'm not looking forward to the season five, but I'm probably going to try to binge watch it pretty quick here so I can get caught up. I think season five might be the last season. I'm not sure. Wouldn't hurt my feelings. Anyway, sick of Beth and... Uh, what's that kid's name? Thought I'd never forget it. Anyway, sick of him too. It was the drug addict had the grandpa that died. Yeah, as I edit, I will throw his name up there because I can't remember. But I'm sick of him too. And so the bow goes right here. And so I'm going to glue dot that bow on. Not the greatest bow. But, you know, considering what I had to work with, and so I'm going to put that there. And hopefully it's going to stick good enough. See the ribbon? It's really fraying. I'll have to pull out some fray check, maybe, and put a little bit of fray check on there. But I don't like her ribbon. And then this. And I probably should have poked a hole through there first, which it's not glued on there particularly great anyway, so I'm just going to open it up and do it that way. And then I'm going to do this, if I can get the glue out. So, you know, what would be pretty, I mean, I have these great big ones. I have some little ones, too. If I can find where they're at, I will pull them out, maybe, and put a little yellow gem in the center of this flower. Yeah, not impressed with that bow at all. And can't do anything with it now, because i got a whole poke through it. To hold it a minute. And then all I have left is rounding the edges of this and getting this on. I can't tell you how happy I am about having the last card of this kit done. Can't tell you. Can't tell you how much. How glad I am to be done with them. These are the four cards from the kit. You know, I don't know. Overall impression, uh, they're okay. We'll see how her next kit goes, the other Tender Mercies one that I bought. Remember, this was the one that I got by accident. Didn't order this one. I think that... Um, I might have to stick a little foam square piece under that other side to see if I can get that to stay up a little bit better. I mean, the sayings are great, and uh, I think they're pretty enough as, you know, as they are. But, uh, yeah, all of the trouble I had to go through to put the cards together, cutting pieces that didn't fit quite right, and finding cardstock that obviously I didn't have, that I needed, that she didn't provide, I don't know, maybe a three. I don't, I, three out of five. 
I don't know. Well, like I said, we'll see how the next card kit goes. And there's eight cards. So I probably won't film the whole thing like this one. I didn't show you quite everything because it just was forever. took forever. But I don't know if I would buy any more of hers. And this was the KSL Studio, which I don't know if she goes by that. I think it was Q's. I think it was Q's Card Kits is what she goes by now. Okay, well, there you have it.